video. I posted on my Instagram today that I found a hidden thrift store that I didn't even know about and I am the thrift store queen of the world and it's huge and it has so many gems in it. It's one of those ones that you walk in and stuff is just everywhere and that's my favorite because it's like a hunting spree and you find treasures. Today I rummaged through it just for a little bit. I probably explored about 40% of it today, so I'm excited to get to go back another day. But when I posted about it on Instagram, a ton of people were writing me saying, make a thrift store haul video. And I've never done one of those before. I've never been interested in really watching haul videos. But I guess if it was a thrift store haul video, I might enjoy it, but I feel like I'd just be jealous that I didn't find that stuff. <laughs> So I thought, hey, why not? Might as well film it today while I have everything out and fresh and I haven't put anything away. So let's get to trying on some clothes. Oh, before I continue, this bra is from Hara the Label. I will link it below because I know a ton of you are gonna ask me. You know I don't like wearing those uh, regular bras with like the cups and the underwire. I don't think y'all have ever seen me wear something like that on this channel. I'm always wearing either no bra or something very clothy and loose like this. Hara makes all their clothes ethically and sustainably and they're made with bamboo and completely organic plant dyes. So no chemicals and things like that and cotton that is laden with pesticides. So I'm happy that they sent me this as a gift and I will link it below. Oh, and my mom got me these cool pants from Tyvan. You have to tie them in the back and then it's like my whole butt is out right now. And you have to just like this part, pull it through your legs and then tie the back part up front, and then you have pants. <laughs> They're really cool. But I like the colors. Thanks, Mom. Okay, first pick is this jumpsuit. I didn't zip it all the way just now, and there's also a button that I can't reach that's supposed to button up at the top right here. But it's backless, really flowy with the very cute V. Shows my tattoo very nicely. Got the wide sleeves. You know, I have never been a jumpsuit person, but this summer I've recently gotten into them. And I see why some people are so obsessed. A really nice pair of cotton little boy shorts here. Very nice, very comfortable, but they fit perfectly. Skirt. Ooh, yes, I love a good skirt, baby. This one is like a camel texture and almost the same color as the shorts I just tried on, but I really love this. And I don't go out a lot, but it's nice to have it just in case. Okay, the rest of the things I got are tops, so I just put on some neutral pants and let's try them on. All right, so I didn't try this one on. Do I regret that? No, it's cute, okay. I'm just making sure it can cinch in at the waist. This could very well be like a scrub top if it's not paired with the right thing, but it's cute. Boobie's looking cute. I guess it doesn't go well with these really puffy pants because it's just making the peplum part like come out a little bit too much. I would like it to fall a little bit easier. But I think it's cute, you know, this is like, I'm going to a little dinner party. I'm going to my Sunday brunch, you know, that's, that's, this is my Sunday brunch top for sure. I love the sleeves. They're really nice. They make the neckline look really pretty. Ooh, this one is tight. This top is a little tight. I like stretch out the arms a little bit. Got some chunky arms. Ooh, but it is boobalicious because it's so tight. Yes, I like my camel if you can't already tell. The boobs look amazing in this because I don't have to wear a bra. That's my favorite type of tops when it's nice and tight. I don't have to wear a bra and this comes down with the cleavage at like the perfect place so it's not like too much. Mm-hmm. I think I could pair this with these puffy pants or I could pair this with my camel skirt I just got or like some denim, just really anything. That's why I like camel because it goes with a lot of different things. And I really like this top. Okay, here's a little tube top. I don't mind it, I don't mind if I do. I like this rose color. 
Don't have to wear a bra with it. It holds up pretty nicely. Now we have a cute little frilly top. It's really tight and cinched up here, so it holds the boobies again. Nice back. And I like this. I love this frilly part in the front because it's like, it's tight on all the right places, and then when I get to my little pudge, it's a convenient curtain. <laughs> I like this kind of a top. And this is a definite summer go-to. Okay, last camel thing, I promise. This is just a cute little, really long, frilly tank top camel. I think it's very cute. So this is for your nice, laid-back Pocahontas moment. I love a good kimono top like this. I wish it came in maybe a little bit more, like right there. But it's still cute at this length. Really nice back. Love me some wide sleeves. And it's sheer. I hope you can't see my entire nipple. Very cute. All right, we have a very nice blouse. Get up close so you can see the detail of it. Sheer with this embroidery. Really pretty. I like to wear little throwovers like this blouse with just a bra like the bra I was wearing earlier and then leave it at that and then wear some nice cute denim and that's a summer fit right there and another slap that bra on and a pair of jeans throw on a cute little throw over this one's actually really pretty it's got these flowers on it got a pocket of course always got to have your pocket I really like it very cute all right, those are the clothes that I got. Fun fact, I'm actually going to list some of those pieces I just tried on on the Earth Mama Goods shop that you can find on the Earth Mama Medicine website. That's where I sell vintage clothing, vintage home decor, a lot of pre-loved clothing and goods, shoes, decorations, kitchenware, really beautiful items that I have handpicked and curated myself. I haven't decided which ones from today's collection I'm gonna keep. Definitely that jumpsuit is mine for the keeping, but a few of those other things I'm probably gonna listen to the store. So the link is below for you to visit. It's just earthmommedicine.com slash shop and you'll see the tab to click into the clothing. So I'll show you the other things I got today. I got these three books. The first one is called The Green Pharmacy. It is by James A. Duke, PhD. It says, new discoveries and herbal remedies for common diseases and conditions from the world's foremost authority on healing herbs. And it's got tons, I mean, just like, of course the first page I flipped to is flatulence. But I mean, it's just like liver problems, just anything you're going through, sores, gingivitis, fainting, bladder infections, your guide to the green pharmacy a great addition to my household. The Woman's Daybook of Houseplants by Jean Hersey, illustrations by Harry Marinsky. I'm not sure why this is only a woman's book of houseplants. I'm sure all of the genders like houseplants, but I got it anyway because the illustrations are really adorable and it's just all of your common houseplants that most people have in their homes and just like a little snippet on each of them on what they like, where they like to live in the house, what kind of temperature and watering and propagation facts and things like that I think is super helpful because I'm starting my houseplant journey. And lastly for today's books is Herbs, A Guide to Growing, Cooking, and Decorating. Yes, I left out on the plant books today. It's a small little spiral notebook that was written by Carol Landa Christensen and it talks about growing your own herbs, herb oils and vinegars, tinctures, things like that, cooking with the herbs. It talks about decorating with the herbs and how to dry them, and then you have information in the back on many of your common herbs. This book is right up my alley. I love a good, very simple guidebook when it comes to plants because sometimes, I mean, the plant world can be so intimidating because there are so many. So it's nice to have things like this where I can sticky note things and know where I wanna go and what I wanna look up really quickly if I need to make something. I also got this amazing stone wine glass. It's made entirely out of stone and I wish they had more. That's the thing about a thrift shop. Sometimes you only look out with one item of something you love. What a catch. This brass vase, so beautiful. It's completely engraved with botanical art and it's like heavy duty, so perfect for flowers. I love it. 
And since we're on the topic of thrift items, here are some of the things that are still available in the Earth Mama Goods shop. There are a few really beautiful handmade, hand-painted mugs and cups. I love this one. This one's probably my favorite hand-painted enamel mug. There's a little wildflower vase right here that was hand-painted. An incense holder, you put the incense up top. Two ashtrays and or bird feeders. These really cute salt and pepper holders. This leaf dish, a really pretty iridescent ashtray. A little ring dish. This was one of my favorite finds Matt won't let me keep. It's like a vintage maple syrup jug. Beautiful wooden cork on the top. The cork is in perfect shape. And this could also be used to hold like whiskey or something. And then there's a beautiful ceramic pot back there. This big, beautiful, gorgeous ceramic vase is still available. And these books will actually be going into the shop very soon. So get ready. All right, everyone, that's it for this fun little video. My camera is about to die, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there, hit the thumbs up, and visit the link below so you can check out some of the things in the Earth Mama Goods shop. I love you all. I will see you in the next video. Peace.